The consumer drone market, the one for hobby and not devastation, is a rapidly growing arcade expected to reach 3.26 billion in 2025 with a compound annual growth rate of 9%. Autel is a relatively new player in this billion dollar industry, which may not be very popular among the new consumers, but has a healthy growth rate in the US rising from 1% in 2018 to 5% in 2020. Their most popular models are Evo I and Evo II. Since users have been speculating the release of a mini drone by Autel Robotics, it's been a while. To their utmost surprise, on 16th September, a leaked image, followed by several images and videos later on, on Chinese social media surprised everyone, and we have all the details. Autel is likely to have been developing a drone to compete with the unrivaled DJI Mini 2. Since Autel might have targeted the market gap and presented a product with improved features, the new mini consumer drone is expected to be better than DJI Mini 2. Later on, Another leaked video showed the drone to be an itinerary of the Evo series by Autel, called Autel Mini or Evo Mini for the time being. Before we start, please make sure to click the like and subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. Anticipated specifications. Release date, October 2021 weight, 250 grams flight time, 30 minutes flight range, up to 10 km colors, orange, red, light gray, dark gray target market, beginners, first time slash amateur drone users, consumers variants, Evo Mini, without collision avoidance, and Evo Mini Plus, with collision avoidance sensors. Previously, Autel Robotics has targeted the prosumer market with its X-Star drone and Evo series, Evo 1 and 2 have been launched while Evo 3 and Evo Lite are also under development. Therefore, the launch of this mini drone can be considered a big venture in the consumer drone market. In the hobby drone market, DJI Mini has been matchless, with smart photography features, a 31 minutes flight time, and a range of 4,000 meters. Therefore, in order to compete with DJI, Autel is expected to offer at least this much, or even better. Price is one differentiating factor between the two drones. Mini 2 is worth 450 US dollars. Moreover, it is a favorite among not only beginners but is also preferred by professional content creators. Since it is expected that Autel Mini would feature obstacle avoidance, its price might cross $500. However, even after being more expensive than Mini 2, if Autel Mini delivers what it promises, DJI would have a hard time surviving the nano drone market. It is expected that the drone would feature a three-direction obstacle avoidance, 4K video, a range of 10km, and a flight time of more than 30 minutes, if it is to compete with DJI Mini, the most distinguished drone in the world of consumer drones, moreover, it is expected that the drone would be able to deliver top-notch image quality, latest software features and ease of use. According to the first leaked image, the drone would have four colors, orange, light and dark gray and red. Moreover, since the drone seems to have back sensors, obstacle avoidance is also expected. If Autel Mini Consumer Drone lives up to these expectations, DJI Mini 2 would finally have a tough competitor in the market. One point which must be taken into consideration is the fact that obstacle avoidance, which seems to be the key feature of Autel Mini, and targets the market gap, is not entirely new. Hubs and Xeno Mini Pro is the only 250 grams drone with a 3D collision avoidance system. However, this drone lacks credibility, as the image quality is not on par with some other drones available in the market, such as those by DJI. On 17th September, immediately after the first leaked photo, a video was also leaked. This video was recorded in an exhibition in China where Autel showcased its drones. In this video, a representative of Autel is showing the drones to a visitor. There are a number of smaller drones placed there as well, however, the representative asks the visitor to stop recording when the camera points to these drones. This act can be considered a marketing strategy on Autel's part because why would a company showcase their drones in an exhibition if they were meant to be secret? The drones shown there are expected to be Evo Lite and Evo Mini. Unlike the Evo Mini, this drone is meant to be used by professionals solely, supposed to compete with DJI Air 2S. It is expected to have a minimum flight time of 40 minutes with a flight range of up to 10 kilometers. The leaked specs sheet shows that it features vertical shooting, social media friendly usage, and obstacle avoidance are also expected. This is also supposed to support template shooting. Another leaked specs sheet indicated the possibility of a release of Evo 3. According to this image, this drone is also aimed at professional content creators, with a flight time of 38 to 40 minutes, a 10 km flight range, and a fisheye lens. It is supposed to have incredible picture quality, giving you professional aerial shoots. 
Even though the leaked spec sheet and video might be a marketing strategy by Autel Robotics, the matter of the leak is due to several reasons. First of all, there is a market gap of obstacle avoidance, and no credible company has been able to bridge this gap. Moreover, DJI is the only well-reputed consumer drone company that may be the most renowned in the market. Autel's creation of drones for both beginners and professional content creators would create a market contest, which was needed. Autel Robotics is the latest company to venture into consumer drones and is likely to prove a tough competitor, DJI. Their latest leaks, planned or otherwise, show that the company is ready to launch soon, and with DJI already planning to release their Mini 3, this would be an interesting battle to watch. DJI is unrivaled when it comes to consumer drones, however with Autel's flagship and a Mini drone, consumers might jump ship and go for the latest Autel model instead, if it is on par with DJI in terms of price and quality. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.